Hi, Dawn Stans Lamenti, a New Jersey entrepreneur, is making international headlines by turning garbage into gold. Tom Zaki redefined the term trash talking teenager when he created his company TerraCycle in 2001 during his freshman year at Princeton. Headquartered in Trenton, New Jersey, and now operating in 21 countries, TerraCycle is considered a world leader in recycling waste. What makes something recyclable, like an aluminum can, is that waste management companies can make money doing it. The aluminum is so valuable that they can make a profit. But 80% of all objects in the world, you can't put in your recycling bin because they simply cost too much to collect and process. So what TerraCycle does is we set up national platforms where you can send us your waste or collect it in stores or many other options. And then we collect all this stuff you never thought could be recyclable before and find new uses for it. TerraCycle began with organic fertilizer, yes, worm poop, packaged in reused plastic bottles. By 2006, Zaki was named Best CEO Under 30 by Inc. Magazine, beating out Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg. With an estimated $20 million this year in revenue, this author, innovator, eco-friendly entrepreneur profits by partnering with major corporations. TerraCycle works with absolutely everybody trying to solve waste. I mean, let's take an extreme example. We work with Big Tobacco. Every single major large tobacco company has partnered with us somewhere in the world to recycle cigarette butts. And today, we've recycled well over a billion cigarette butts in the process. Mind you, it's the most littered waste stream in the world today. One of the worst environmental disasters in world history, the Chernobyl explosion impacted Zaki's life. Born in Hungary under the communist regime, he fled with his parents to Toronto in 1986. I think business is more powerful than war, than politics, than, than anything. But the question is, do you use business just to make money, or do you use business to make money and do good? Doing good and speaking out at this year's World Economic Forum in the Swiss Alps, TerraCycle teamed up with Procter & Gamble to make the world's first recyclable shampoo bottle created from beach plastic, an innovative idea that's dubbed head and shoulders above the rest. Researchers estimate that every minute the equivalent of one garbage truck of plastic is dumped in our oceans. By 2050, plastic will outweigh fish in our oceans. Schools of another sort are part of Zaki's solution. TerraCycle today is in 60% of U.S. K-12 schools run collection programs. And they do because it's completely free. We pay for the transportation of the waste from your school to us. And then in many cases, donate a few cents per piece of waste collected to the school. And schools are raising tens of thousands of dollars doing this every single year. These children tour TerraCycle and learn about waste solutions such as upcycling and recycling. Here, garbage is seen as a raw material used to make anything from playground mulch, furniture, to backpacks, to chandeliers. Interns and employees told me TerraCycle promotes a culture of caring and feeling connected. I know that what I'm doing matters, and um, I'm actually from a political science background, so being able to apply my skills in a way that is um, using my agency to do good in th for the planet is really inspiring. So we feel incredible here by being able to create major global solutions, I mean truly large ones, uh, but to do that in a for-profit context because I do believe there's a lot of value in uh, capitalism and what it can do. Now, if you're limited in what you can recycle in your community or if you're interested in learning more about one of those school programs we talked about, you can learn more at TerraCycle.com. Reporting from Trenton, New Jersey, Dawn Stenslamenti. Up next, Larry's commentary.